What's up, happy people? Welcome to base camp here on Pogan in the CNMI. We've been here now for a couple weeks. Just show you around real quick before we head out on our adventure because today we're going all over the island. We're gonna be metal detecting. We're gonna be exploring bunkers. We're gonna be doing all kinds of cool stuff. But before we go, we wanna show you where we've been staying. This is me, Sarah, and the girls tent. It's a quick set. Um, We've had one up on our ranch in Florida for two months now, no issues. We've had this up here in heavy, heavy rain. No issues whatsoever, no leaks, very easy to put up. We've got two queen size mattresses in there. And the only reason we put this tarp up was to keep things cool. It kind of reflects some of the heat and it just funnels the wind. Now this is our cool tent here. This is where all of our, like, this is uh, like our area that we store everything. I'll let you guys take a quick peek in there. It's not organized because everybody, Aria, Emma, Sarah, me, Jesse, Jordan, and Austin, we all have our gear in there. We even have a potty, that's a little portable potty. And uh, we take our showers and live our life. Come around here. This is all of our clothes. The girls go down into the, into the ocean, they wash them in salt water, then they rinse them in fresh water and hang them on the line. We've got lights that are um, being powered by solar. Um, we've got gear laying all over the place. After two weeks of camping, things get kind of really spread out. Come over here. If you've been watching our fishing, <laughs> that's my hooker electric, that's the 50. And that lure we caught a big old yellowfin on. We just hang stuff up all over. This is Jesse's room over there. That's our shower room. Oh, let me show you guys where we take a shower. Check this out. So, come in here. Sarah brought, the, the motor is charging right now. But this sets in the bucket with fresh water. You hang it up here, rinse off, get wet. Then you wash, wash, you know, wash your hair, wash your body. Then you rinse yourself off. Out here on the island, most of the water that we use, we're capturing it. When it rains, we capture the water, then we filter the water, then we use the water. Water is of the essence. Believe it or not, the girls have... Aria and Emma, do you like staying in the tent? Yeah? Do you want to go home? <laughs> they said no. What two-year-old and four-year-old does not want to go home after camping for 17 days? Mine. Here's the boys' room, or that's where Austin stays. We got lots of camera gear. All of our gear stays in there. And then this is where we kind of cook and fellowship every day. Been eating lots of avocados, lime, mango. This is some of our water that we've captured and filtered and we use for drinking. This is Bam, this is Gov's oldest daughter, and that's it. That's just a quick tour of camp. Let's keep rolling. And now, the adventure begins. What's up, Mayor? Hey. Right back there, that's where all the discussions of camp are, are made and done. It's where everyone sits around and talks and figures things out. It's also where a lot of cooking is done. And, uh, and where we clean a lot of the game. So it's like the central point, the big mango tree. Now we're gonna head all the way across the island. The Japanese airstrip was right out there. That's the big, beautiful volcano and you can see the bunkers in the background. This big hole is a bomb hole. Literally, no joke, a bomb dropped right there during World War II. Mm. Hog died in here. That's a dead hog. Ooh, and it stinks. This is probably some kind of bomb pit. Ugh. All steel reinforced. I know that our servicemen from World War II are moving on in life. 
at a very quick rate right now. Very few of them are left, but man, just standing out here amongst this makes me so proud to be an American. We won this battle. We, we earned our freedom. And it wasn't easy. It was, it was deadly and it was hard, but it was worth it. Now this is clearly an infantry bunker. This is one of the entrances inside here. Ooh, there's all kinds of dead animals in there. Tons of dead bones and stuff. Ugh. This solid steel wall, this concrete barrier would give the, the person room to get in and get out under, under fire. Come around here. Well, that's what happens when a bomb gets dropped on your head. I promise you, there could be no life sustained in here. When this happened, nothing else mattered. And that is girls. This is one of the bays over here on the western edge of Pagan. And this is the most significant war monument that we've found so far. I have no earthly idea what it means but obviously it's got Japanese writing on it. I don't know if this was built during, before, or after the war. So this answers my question. These are bullet holes similar to what we just saw on the airfield right there. I'm guessing it's a 20 or 30 millimeter cannon getting fired out of one of these aircraft, but I have no real experience or knowledge on that. I'm just guessing. I don't know if you can see that with and this is one of my favorite parts of driving on the island. We just walked out on this beach for one minute. Sarah's already found a piece of a shell casing and a 50 caliber projectile, full metal jacket. Oh, Are you filming? Yeah. That was shot too. just an, another one of the many bunkers that we find here along every beach. Every beach you're gonna find these bunkers. It's absolutely crazy. So this was, this was built in 1938. You like going on a long walk with daddy? Huh? Yeah. Yeah? Well, I sure like it too. What a blessed moment, y'all. Coming up here to get the trail camera that we put out yesterday. 
Look at this, Sam. Look at this big bunker. This is a huge, huge bunker. <sighs> wow. Looks right out into the ocean. You can see from, from here, you can see that tip. You can see all the way down over here. Wow. Then, if you come up here, you can, hold on baby. This is where I was last night when I left my arrows. Looking in that bunker right there. How crazy is that? Come on, Em. <laughs> Look at her over there sleeping. Come on, Emma. They even camouflage the edge of the bunker to look like stones. It's probably totally hidden. Come on, come up this side. Em. We'll walk together, baby. And when you can't walk anymore, I'll carry you. This is awesome. I found a half of one, but I didn't pick it up because it didn't match. That's so cool. Yeah. You can buy your special treasures in it. See, look, I found a bullet, another bullet. That's so, cool. so I found my lost arrows and the trail camera. But what I found really was a great time with Emma. Me and Emma, she hiked Aww. all the way up to where the uh, the camera was. And I told her we had a deal. When we started out, I said, babe, you walk as far as you can. And when you can't walk any farther, I'll carry you. And then she walked almost the whole way. I just had to pick her up a couple times. What did you not like to walk through? Uh, not a coconut. The That's coconut. right. Say, I don't like to walk through coconut. That's where the centipedes are anyway. Good, so everyone had fun? Yep, look it. And to think that was fired during World War II. Dude, these props are heavy duty. Clearly it took anti-aircraft rounds. I want to see. I have no idea what kind of airplane this is, but my heart tells me it's a Japanese Zero. Wing comes right out here. Clearly a bullet came up through it and came out here. This looks like all kinds of shrapnel. This is the cockpit. Oh, here's his controls. There's the controls for flying the airplane. Look at that. Wow. You're looking at an instrument of war, you guys. And it's just so amazing to be here. Here's gears down here. That's probably like landing gear. If I can guess, that's probably his landing gears. That war would have probably been a lot more intense than any of us could have imagined. Right. So this is the air intake. Air comes in here. I can see the flaps, the butterflies for whatever air intake. If any of you guys can look at this video and tell me what kind of plane this is, I would really, really appreciate it. But that's pretty much all you have to... I guess this would be the most determining characteristic, would be the window. If we look with that window configuration. And just like that, you guys, snap of a finger, I go from Poggin right here to the Kensington Hotel on Saipan. And if... If that video wasn't edited as well as it should have been, it's because I have been dealing with 
a severe, severe stomach bug. I about knocked the end of my finger off and I got bit by something really ugly on my foot and I actually went to the hospital. I got COVID tested. I got all my blood work done and I'm alive and I don't have COVID. So it's a, it's a great day to be alive. It's a great day to be here in the Marianas. I want to say hello to everybody out there. I love you guys. I appreciate you all, your, all your support. As I start feeling better, I promise you, I will be uploading tons of really exciting, super awesome videos, but that's all I got for you today. Take care, God bless, and we gone.